the euro yen for the week of September 28 we had a down week in the euro yen uh, our shorting point was to go short initially as you see here 135.24 was the idea to go long so based on following our set of rules what gets us into the trade is what also what gets us out of the trade we must have a reason to go in and we must have a reason to go out we do not go in and buy based on guts we we create reference points or buying points and these buying points where we are uh, we initiate our positions and they these points also create for us a, a reference point so if the prices do come back and trade below that reference point then our reason to have initiated along no longer exists and therefore we get out of the trade and sometime and we can also reverse so in this case our buy was above 135.24 it failed and it traded below the prior week's low so actually our short in the euro yen would have been below 135 even if you will or below the prior week's high which is 134.77 and the week closed at 131.66 that's a 300 point gain on the euro yen to the downside on the short trade the euro yen traded all the way down to our structural point of 131.50 the one that you see here the 131.50 and this is our structural point and it was the beginning or where the euro has held and that was the beginning of the bull run of 2000 the late 2005 into the euro so here this even though it was a down week it is still a neutral week i.e. It, it is not a directional trade we do not have a structural failure and we do not have a break below the 130 the 131.50 if it does trade below the 131.50 then we are going to initiate a short because that would be a structural short and as you see right here when it broke below the 131.50 right here we had a push down towards the 124 area or the 126 so we have probably a 500 pip move to to this here if it does break through the 131.50 so our shorting point on the euro yen would be below 131.50 and i'm going to go now to the radar screen to put in our points because that is our trading plan for the whole of next week it is imperative that we place our and as you see from last week this is our short point below 133.75 which is the two weeks high and going short below there with the, the we had about two the the yen closed at the euro yen closed at one our shorting point from last week was 133.75 it closed at 131 that was a 200 point uh, gain so right now the 131.50 is a structural short not just a plain short so i'm going to put the structural short 131.50 and it is also our shorting point now i'm going to change that from last week and i'm going to put the 13150 because it is also a structural short and a a shorting point at the same time and in that case our stop would be about 200 i mean 20 pips or so above the uh, so our stop would be 131 we can call it 75 we just have to give it at least some decent uh, distance to move now going to the daily so we can see what our uh, plan of action was again this is now we have traded below the 132.20 which is another minor structure 
when we broke the 132.20 we were paid until 131 uh, even let's say 131.18 which is about 60 points from here so the key test now is a break below the 131.18 so we will be monitoring the, th the 131.18 and as you see it is also the structure point here and that relates if the yen strengthens but if the yen weakens then it should be coming back above that structural point which is the 132.20 so our buy point right now is going to be the 132.20 so my buy in the euro yen my buying point is going to be above 132.20 and my stop is going to be 132 I make it 131.90 just to give it some room to the downside because you have to give it some breathing room uh, if we do break below the 131.08 that will be a new structural short and I will be looking for a test of the 127 so if the dollar if the euro yen goes below 131.18 so the 131.18 now is going to be our structural short said we're buying above 131 let me uh, move that we're buying above 132 uh, 20 so my buy stop my long stop is going to be 131.90 which is okay it has not been deleted okay lovely and as I said we're looking for if we do break below the 131.18 we're looking for a target of the 127 looking at the uh, intraday chart as you see the the yen has been coming down the euro has been coming ven down very strongly versus the yen but and this is was our old uh, shorting point which is the 131.50 which we did not break we just tested it and we bounced so our buying points as you see here there is the, the 132 20 that is our buy structure which is as you see it is in, it is in a sienna dashed line so our buy signal here in the euro yen would be one, the, the 132.20 so in the opening range when i have the tokyo opening range if i do have a trade above the 132.20 then i'm going to initiate uh, my buys and i will only go short the euro yen below the 131.18 the reason I'm saying that is that we had this continuous slide we have supported or we have held at the 131.50 we might have a spike down when the market opens but I will be looking now to filter out the first short and I should be taking the second short out of the opening range so we will filter out the first short and the ones that are putting auto the system on auto then what we are going to do we are going to take the sell short on the euro yen as off we don't we're not going to uh, we're going to take the buys we're going to take off uh, the sell short so we don't want we can enter the short on a manual base but this is going to be the automatic so the auto will take in the take us into the trade uh, by itself okay and as i said we are going to be buying above the 132.20 uh, which is there is our 132.20 right there which as you see 
is pretty much above the market side and that's what you want so if you get an open right here around this area in the uh, opening range and we do push up it will come to the 132.20 and repel and then it will go up again and that's what you want to be taking.